I want to see energy bills low, not just for 20 months, I want to see them low for 20 years. So we've got to address all the things that are causing um, energy bills to rise. So we have to have a competitive market between the energy companies. We've got to do everything we can to bring on new sources of fuel, like for instance shale gas, which is revolutionizing the cost of fuel um, in America. And as for green levies and other things like that, they shouldn't be there for a moment longer than they're necessary. Now, we need to have a balanced energy policy in this country. We need to have some new nuclear power. We need some renewables. So some of those subsidies have been necessary. But as soon as those industries can pay for themselves, or as soon as we've got to a reasonable level, those subsidies shouldn't be there for one moment longer than necessary. But, but here's the thing. Look, of course, it's very attractive to say, I'm going to freeze energy prices for 20 months, as Ed Miliband has done. But it is basically a con. And it's a con because he is not in control of the worldwide price for gas. And so he can't guarantee keeping that promise because the gas price could go shooting up, in which case he'd have to break his promise, or the gas price could go shooting down, in which case a freeze wouldn't be as good as what customers would get. So it's a con, and what we need to do is make changes to, to the energy market to make sure we can have low prices and hopefully keep those low prices for as long as possible. We've got to address the causes of prices rather than just come up with what is effectively a con.